Ben woke up at 5 30 this morning and I am recovering from a pretty nasty cold virus something I don't know I'm like on the mend and I feel a lot better today but I'm still kind of stuffy so getting up that early was not ideal today but that's mom life it is what it is it's a little after eight o'clock and I just went ahead and put him down for a nap already because he has been so cranky I think he's so tired but I prepped these breakfast burritos yesterday I'm gonna heat one up there's just egg sweet potato and sausage in these I've been trying to get better at meal prepping things like this for myself and the family 10 out of 10 recommend meal prepping breakfast burritos because they make mornings so easy look how cute these little Stanley toppers are they're from my friend Marissa's shop Danny Nest they're so cute. They just go right on top of your Stanley cup. Okay, I'm ready for the day. Before I started today's video, I spent this morning going through Scarlett's room and completely not reorganizing it, but just cleaning it up, decluttering it, throwing away things that need to be thrown away. I wanted to do that before Christmas, so I'm glad that is done. Ben is sleeping, finally. He finally fell asleep. I'm gonna take this opportunity to start wrapping some Christmas presents. Also share some of the things that I got the kids. I'm so excited for Christmas this year because we're actually going to be in our home on on Christmas Day and we can do like all of the fun Christmas things on Christmas Day with the kids however I'm definitely gonna have some FOMO because I know I'm gonna be missing my family like I want to be with my family but I also want to be at my house so it's <laughs> always like a conflicting thing we are on a every other year schedule so this year we're gonna stay home and then next year we will travel back to Kansas to see my family for the holidays also how cute is my sweatshirt it says tell me what you want what you really really want we sold these at Lollico. They're sold out, unfortunately, but they are so cute. I've been living in this. So I'm gonna share everything that I got the kids. I'll share what I got for Scarlett. I'll share what I got for Ben. Their big gifts this year are bikes. Ben got a Juvie Tricycle, which we have not put it together yet. But I'll post a picture of it right here so you guys can see what it is. Scarlett had one of these. She loved it. She used it for years and years because it can transition with them. We love a Juvie Tricycle. Scarlett is getting a bigger bike. She now knows how to ride her bike and the bike that she has is I think a 16 inch. So we needed to get her a bigger bike to fit her better because the little one's just way too small for her. So her bike has not came in yet. I don't have it yet. Hopefully it's here on time. I think it will be. But I'll post a picture of that right here so you guys can see which bike we went with. It's so cute. I think she's going to love it. Something else that I got So I got these from Dream Pairs. Were fuzzy boots. So I got these from Dream Pairs and they actually are partnering with me on today's video. So I'm very excited to share about this brand because they have some of the cutest boots for a very affordable price. She really needed some shoes. So I went ahead and gave two pairs of the boots to her for her birthday because she did just have a birthday so she has already worn two pairs the one she's wearing today at school they are the best Ugg dupes I have found anyways I'll share some video footage here so you guys can see what they look like on she loves these these are probably her favorite pair at the moment but those are called the winter fur line suede boots highly recommend them they come in a few different colors too I also got her the knee-high riding boots they are equally as cute they're just a completely different style actually let me go grab those so I can show you guys what those look like okay so here they are they might be a little dirty these are the second pair that I gave to her for her birthday from Dream Paris. I love like the buckle detailing. They also zip on the back side, so it's really easy for her to put them on herself. Anyways, back on track to share the boots that she's getting for Christmas. I saved the best for last because I feel like these scream scarlet. I feel like she is going to love these so much. They are fur lined inside. She's very into like the softness inside a boot. So I know she's gonna love that, but the bows, like can you even handle how cute these are? These are called the mid calf faux fur lined girls snow boot and I know it doesn't snow here in Arizona but it does get cold so I know she's going to love these so much I'm so excited to give these to her let me just talk about how affordable these are as well so these were on sale for $39.99 these were on sale for $32.99 and then the boots that she's wearing at school today were on sale for $35.99 which are all really good prices for a good quality boot in my opinion so I love the affordability of Dream Paris they have so many cute boot selections so yeah if you're needing to get some cute boots for for your kiddos definitely check out dream pairs everything's super affordable and good quality and super cute I'll make sure to leave a link down below in the description box and then also I'll have a discount code to share with you guys so you can save even more off of these really affordable prices definitely make sure to check them out but I'm gonna get started wrapping we will actually wrap this one first so let's get started here's the wrapping paper that I chose for the kids so I'm doing Ben with these little trucks and they have a little Christmas tree on it and then Scarlett picked out hers this one has um, little snow globes on it these don't go as well as I thought they were gonna go because I I obviously picked up bins he could care less I thought these were gonna like 
flow better when I picked them out online, but they don't. And it's not that big of a deal, I know, but the aesthetic side of me is like, I wish these vibed better together, <laughs> which sounds so stupid, I know. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of One present done. I feel like this is not all gonna get done today. You guys, Ben is already awake. He's not supposed to be awake yet. I have present wrapping to do. Still looks so tired. That was maybe a 30 minute nap. This morning's been so off already. He woke up so cranky and I think it's because he was up at 5.30. So I'm not sure what to do. I might give him just a second because his eyes are still closed and he's crying with his eyes closed. Maybe he'll fall back asleep. Since Ben's about to wake up and I don't think I'm gonna get many of these presents wrapped, let me quickly share what he got for Christmas. He's getting some mega blocks. Scarlett had these, loved these. They're just these giant blocks that kids can build and stack together. Okay, so Ben loves babies. That's one of the few words that he says, is baby, baby, baby. So I got him his own baby doll. It's a little boy baby doll. And I feel like he's gonna love it. I'm so excited. Look how cute. Boys can play with baby dolls too, right? Like, I feel like they can. I feel like Ben's gonna love it. This back here is from my mom. She sent this to Ben um, and it's actually, like it has like the bottom part because it's a rocking horse. So it's just not put together yet. But Benny is gonna literally die when he sees this. I think he's gonna think it's the cutest thing. He'll probably call it a dog because he thinks every animal is a dog right now. So he sees a bird in the sky and he's like, dog, dog. And I'm like, no. This is also from my mom. It's like a soccer ball that lights up. And Ben loves balls. Balls and dogs. Those are like his favorite thing. My grandma got him this. This is a pillow pet. These are like little stuffed animals that also turn into a pillow. And it's a dog. These are some KiwiCo um, items. These aren't like the crates that they have. These are just things you can buy from their site. So this one's a slide and stack ring puzzle. Look how cute. And then I also got him this one. This is a play and go lock box. Here is what it looks like. She's getting this cute little sweatshirt from my friend Marissa's shop. She's the one who also does the Stanley toppers, um, but it's called Sunny Nest. So we got him this little sweatshirt. It says born to be wild and fast. I got him some magnets for the fridge. So Scarlett had these and I wanted to get him some because she played with these all the time. They're just the Melissa and Doug animal magnets. Finn loves music. He loves nursery rhymes like Itsy Bitsy Spider and Old McDonald, those kinds of songs. So I found this little search and find nursery rhymes book. So he likes dogs, he likes balls, and he also really likes books. So the touch and feel books are always a hit with him. So I got him this one. It's the Noisy Farm, my first touch and feel sound book. So not only is it a touch and feel, but it also is a sound book. So cute. I have everything that I'm putting in the stocking right here. And it's just like random things like these little spinners. I thought we could put these on our sliding door and he can play with them because he loves to go to the door and like look outside and watch indies. So I thought these would be really cute just to put on our sliding glass door. There's a couple of them. I got him another book, another touch and feel book. This is the farm touch and feel book with all the farm animals. He's really into using utensils right now. So I thought these looked like a good option for him. The way they're designed, I feel like they'll work for him pretty good. They're by Munchkin. I got him his own multi-styler all for one styling aid, a flexible hold salon quality hairspray for all hair types because Ben has some crazy hair. His hair literally sticks straight up on his head. It's a mess always. So this will tame it. I use this on Scarlett's hair as well. And with that being said, I also got him his own comb. These are just simple black Conair combs. This is like a mess proof full sleeve bib. I've been wanting to get him a full sleeve one. All the other ones we use are silicone, but sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish we had something to like cover your arms because he's eating something super messy, like spaghetti or something. This is gonna come in handy. I'll probably throw in some like food packets for him. I guess I'm gonna go put his stuff away. I'll wrap his stuff another time, but maybe I can get a few more presents wrapped of Scarlet. I think I can contain him in his high chair if I bring him out here and give him a snack and I might be able to like wrap a few more presents. So. We will see this. Okay, we're awake. We're sitting in the high chair. I turned on Miss Rachel. He's eating some of these Greek yogis. And I'm gonna sit back down and try to just get a few more of these presents wrapped. Operation wrap presents as fast as I possibly can starts now. I'm gonna wrap these Squishmallows. They're Squishmallow keychains. Scarlett had this on her Christmas list. And Ben got her these. So these are gonna be from Benny to Scarlett. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making a Let's do what 
bigger one next. This is from my grandma. My grandma got this for Scarlett and it is a unicorn pillow sleep stack. I'm almost positive she got this from Amazon or Walmart. I'm not entirely sure. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. This is an LOL doll that she also had on her Christmas list. This is a cute cup and it has Taylor Swift on it. I got this at one of the markets that we had Lollico at. I saw a small shop making these and I thought Scarlett would love this. So there's a little straw. These have been all over TikTok. It's the speed push game. This is also from my grandma to Scarlett. All right, I'm gonna put everything away. I think I'm gonna call it good for now. He's starting to like need me. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop and give him some attention. But really fast, I'll share the few final things that Scarlett got. So this is a guitar and this is from my mom. And it's like a pink guitar. It's, look at this. Oh, she's gonna love it so much. These are just full of clothes. I'm not gonna get it all out, but a lot of it's from Abercrombie. Um, a lot of it's from Kohl's. This is my recent purchases from Amazon. So a few other things that I got Scarlett that have not arrived yet is this coloring book. She wanted a coloring book. And then I got her this little S bag that she's gonna keep her. Where's it at? I got her skincare somewhere. Yeah, skincare. She <laughs> wanted skincare. So this is an e.l.f. skincare set. So I just got her that. That's going in her stocking. It's a leave-in conditioner. So these are gel pens. I ordered two of them because she wanted to gift these to her friend. And then I also got her a notebook from Target. But she was like, oh, I really wish I had that on my Christmas list. So I decided to go ahead and add that to her gifts as well. We just came on a walk to get out of the house because my cleaners just showed up. Kind of forgot they were coming. It's been like over a month since we've had them in our house. So I'm very excited for today, but I needed to get Ben out of the house. My eyes are like still adjusting to the sun. I should have brought sunglasses, but he's just not having it today. I'm almost positive it's teething related, but I'm like, you know what? Let's just go outside, get some fresh air. Uh, I'm on a mission to find him a swing right now, but I don't know if we have one in our neighborhood. So we will see. I'm going to a different park that we don't normally go to and hopefully they have a swing because he's never been in a swing and I'm like, why have, why has he never experienced that? He needs to experience that. No luck on a swing, but we did find a little toddler park in my neighborhood. So we are here playing at this and everything is like toddler size, which is nice. I just don't understand why there aren't swings at every park. I feel like that's like a staple thing, right? I'm so confused. He has a rock in his hand too, by the way. Oh, wow, okay, clapping. <laughs> we are just getting home from the park, gonna get some lunch. And then I'm gonna try to put him down for a nap again, and hopefully he takes a better nap than he did this morning. Ready, jump? What's your doing? Well, for lunch, I gave this to Ben, but he just threw it on the floor, so he's not gonna eat that apparently. Oh, you guys, today, raspberries. Um, these are like, I don't know. I'll show you in a second. And then these are ham and cheese and mayonnaise and tortilla roll-ups. Beech Nut Krispies Baked Pea Puffs. He loves these so much, so we just finished those up. Honestly, there's not many days where I'm just like, ah, you know, like how you can get sometimes as a parent. There's not many days I have like that. Pretty easy baby. But today is one of those days. <laughs> Today's one of those days. Um, and I think it's honestly just teething. What do I want? I think I just want yogurt. We're eating the yogurt right now. Oikos Pro, 20 grams protein. You already know what I'm eating this with. Birthday cake, safe and fair granola. And we've got a brand new bag. Um, anyways, if you're wondering where Ty is today, he is listing a house. So he had pictures today for the house that he's listing. And he also had to go to the post office and drop off all the weekend packages from Lollico. And then I think he's gonna be home, but I don't entirely know. He's been gone like all morning. As far as plans for the rest of the day goes, I have computer work at some point I need to do if I can get him down for a nap. So hopefully I can knock some of those things off my to-do list. And then I want to go to the gym. I've taken the past three days off from working out because I've been sick and today I, I mean I still don't feel 100% I'm still like stuffy and on the on the mend but I feel good enough to go get in a light workout move my body that kind of thing so we are gonna make that happen today plus I think Ben would enjoy getting out and going to play with some kids so uh, we're gonna make that happen but first I need to try to get him like a legit nap because his nap this morning was 
it was not it. It was not it at all. I made this last week and it was a huge hit in my house. Everybody loved it. So I'm gonna make it again. It's so easy. It's just a slow cooker recipe and it's so delicious and it's high protein. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the crock pot. Ben is taking a really good nap. He's been asleep for like, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. I've been at my computer doing some stuff that needed to be done today. So I think he's getting a good nap in, which is great. Hopefully we have a much better afternoon. Okay, this is about two and a half pounds of stew meat. So I do make the recipe a little bit larger than it calls for, but this is an optional step. You definitely don't have to sear it, but it does give it a better flavor. So I would recommend if you have time. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good, just getting dinner in the crock pot. How's Ben doing? Is he asleep? Yeah, he finally went to sleep. Okay, crock pot lid going on. I'm gonna go ahead and probably cook this for around Six hours, I'm guessing. Do I look like I just woke up from a hour nap? Because I definitely just did. After I got some work done on my computer, I just got this overwhelming sense of being tired and I went and laid down and I literally fell asleep within seconds of hitting the couch. Ty's home, by the way. He came home while I was sleeping. Scarlett's home from school. Ben just woke up from his nap. He took a three hour nap. We are all refreshed. Are we gonna go to the gym now? Uh, I'm not able to go right now. I gotta do some stuff. You wanna go later? I'm gonna go later. You can go whenever. Thank you. If you need to go before me, that's fine. Yeah. Not being in the gym for the past three days has really thrown off my routine and my schedule, and I'm feeling kind of like that, ugh, like we've gotta get packed up and changed and go to the gym and start a workout. But I know the second I get there, I'll get back in that mindset. But right now, I'm feeling a little bit like, bleh, like I don't wanna go, which only happens when I take a lot of time off and three days for me is a lot things happen you get sick you can't go it, i mean it's part of it it's part of the journey of your health and fitness and wellness so i'm gonna push through do it anyways i took a nap i'm refreshed i'm feeling better okay i just got in the car ben's back here with me scarlet's gonna stay home with ty he was gonna come with me but he has some time sensitive documents he has to get done for his house listing i don't know i don't understand any of it but um the hardest part has been completed i'm in the car and sometimes the hardest part of going to work out is actually getting yourself there and we've already taken step one today icebreakers gum is so good most superior gum of all time it is the best anyways let's do this same place two hours later we are back in the car workout went really well i did the 12 3 30 on the treadmill which is a 12 incline at level three or three speed and then for 30 minutes but i've been trying to add more cardio into my workouts lately i try to do 30 minutes of cardio every single day whether it's the 12 3 30 or the stair stepper or just taking ben on a walk i got in a little extra cardio today too because we went on the walk earlier so i did that and then i did a back and bicep workout and then i ended my workout with some abs and stretching so i'd say it was actually a really good day and it was good to be back in the gym and the motivation is already coming back to me so the hardest part was truly just getting the motivation to walk in the doors and they say sometimes the heaviest thing you're gonna lift is the doors to the gym so that is a very true statement sometimes so if you are feeling the same way just get yourself up and go and hopefully when you get there you'll feel the same way I did and the motivation will just naturally come back to you he's happy to see his sister um, anyways walked in this smells incredible we're a little whiny still I don't know what's going on we're gonna eat this with mashed potatoes and green beans. Eight o'clock, I'm about to sit at my computer and work for the night. I'm gonna end this vlog. Dinner was so good, by the way. Why are you out of bed? Water, come get it, it's on the table. Do you wanna end the vlog with me? Yeah. I was just gonna say, dinner was really good. I'll link the recipe down below. Here's Scar, Hi. she's going to bed. Her hair looks so cute. I curled yeah. her hair today um, for school. still stay curly when because we went were, to school. Yeah, we were up so early. Well, I was up so early that I was on top of things this morning, so I was like, Scarlett, you want me to curl your hair? Because we had all the time in the world because Ben woke up so early. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. See you later. Bye.